I think people are really confused on teaser and infrared. Ask any window tenor, what's the best film, you know, performance wise? Well, that's a great question. What's the best film for performance? Okay. But that question needs to be followed up with another question. Um, the best film for what? I mean, are we putting this on flat glass? Are we putting this on a car? What did the customer ask for? Everybody wants to argue over what's the best film. Different films are better for different conditions. Um, man, I don't even know where to begin this, this topic of conversation at. Like, I got pulled into one of these threads on, on, a, on a group about the whole teaser and, and infrared and, and everybody is swearing up and down. They know what the hell they're talking about. And even the really brilliant ones. But, uh, man, I think people have gotten lost. Okay. When it comes to flat glass... Going back to the reasons of what performance spec you should tell people. Um, let's say the customer says, hey, what's the best performing film I can put on my house? Okay, you got to ask them, well, what, what do you mean by performing? Are you trying to knock out heat? Or are you trying to reduce your electric bill? Or are you tired of sitting on the couch and, and you know, the sun beating the hell out of your arm? Um, so let's say if they... Let's say if the customer says, well, honestly, I don't really, you know, I don't really care too much about my electric bill. Um, I mean, that, that's great if it knocks my electric bill down some too, but <clears throat> I'm just really tired of sitting on the couch and my arm burning. I'm sitting there trying to watch TV. And my freaking arm is on fire when I put my arm up on the side of the couch. The sun's just beating the hell out of me. Okay, so... What film does this person need? What's going to be the best suited film? Um, you know, in your head, you might be saying, well, dang, man, uh, I, I put whatever knocks out, you know, the most teaser. Well, I don't really think teaser is going to be the, the, the spot you want to be looking at on that. Because um, teaser has nothing to do with me sitting on my couch and my arm burning from the sun hitting it. But I do know what will stop the sun from burning my arm. IR, IR rejection. IR is the heat that you feel. IR is the heat that you feel, period. The sun hitting you, that's the heat that you feel. Um, so you want the highest IR you can get, if that's your only concern. Um, if you're in a car, okay, what's the best film for my car? Well, what's going on? What what what, uh, what are you trying to do? Man, I'm just trying to get rid of the heat, man. It's hot as hell, man. Sun hitting me, burning me up. Okay. Um, well, I've got I've got this film that has a really high teaser. Okay, good luck explaining teaser to the customer first off. Um, I mean, you can sound great and educated. You still might sell them if you know enough stuff about teaser and you can explain all. You still might sell them just cuz you know what you know you, you can understand and talk about it, but What's really going to best serve that person, um, the film that has the higher teaser or the film that has the higher IR? On, on a flat glass, I, I, I always say teaser is probably the best, you know, overall the best uh, uh, performance spec to go by on flat glass. Normally, because most people are just trying to make it cooler and save on electric. And notice I said, and save on electric. Okay, teaser is what comes down to saving on the electric bill. Look it up. That's the whole reason they came up with Teaser to prove that one film could save money over another film. That's the whole reason Teaser came up was to save money on electric bills. Look it up. Do some research. Whatever you want to do. That's why Teaser was brought about because people wanted to save money on their electric. They wanted to have a value to, to be able to compare other films to. Okay? On a car, I'm sorry, but you can have a really high Teaser film and we're talking about, I'm not saying the film's bad. I'm simply saying if you're comparing it to another film, you can have one that has a lower teaser but a higher IR, and the customer may be much happier with the one with a higher IR. Everybody's worried about absorption and all this other, and I'm not calling it BS, but good grief, you, you, you know, the people talking about teaser on cars, they're missing the whole point. The customers just don't want to feel heat striking them. 
Okay, the customer really, unless the customer's got his head leaned over on the window, the customer don't care how hot the window gets. He cares how hot his arm's getting. Okay, so you can put silver reflective film out there on that car. It's going to knock out around 80% if you put it, like, say, at a 20% VLT. It's going to knock out roughly 80% of the freaking um, IR. Okay, that's a respectable, great number. First off, it's illegal because it's reflected, but let's pretend it's not illegal. So you put that on there, okay? And let's say I got a film that's got a 95% IR. Well, if you're sitting in a car, you're behind your 20% silver, the sun hits your arm, it feels a certain way, okay? It's going to knock out 80% of the IR. We're not talking about what the freaking window's doing. We're not talking about it absorbing the heat coming from one side to the other. In a car, that's almost a mute point because you're driving it up the freaking road. So the wind's always blind, blowing by the freaking window, keeping it cool anyhow, no matter what the freaking teaser is. I mean, it's a mute point. I, I'm not, anyhow, this just stresses, it, it stresses me out that people keep arguing about what film's the best, and you're not asking the question, under what circumstance is this film the best? Because each film ha has a different use. Um, if, if I'm in my car, I want the freaking film that has the highest IR rejection. Because the higher the IR rejection, does, the less heat that you feel on your freaking arm. If my windows are up, I, I, the heat's gone. I've got an AC, or my windows wouldn't be up apparently. So if I want to feel cool and get the air around me cool, I turn the freaking AC on. I'm not worried about, uh, anyhow. <sighs> Simple to the point, instead of asking what's the best film, you know, as far as performance goes, ask what conditions is it getting used? That's all I'm saying. Y'all are starting off with a good question, and you don't follow it up with the right question after that. See ya.